I am uh, Ozana Juska. Most of my clients call me Smart Profits Accelerator because um, I grow their businesses very fast. And um, today's presentation I entitled Beyond Limits. And I'd like to start with a question. Question is, have you ever wanted to feel proud of yourself? I uh, did in many occasions and uh, I mainly wanted to feel proud of myself and um, make my dad proud of me because uh, my dad is a successful entrepreneur. Uh, he's had a, a company importing and distributing fishing rods in, uh, in Romania and uh, he built it based on uh, his passion and he encouraged me to, to build my own business and to make my own money. Uh, but at the same time, he constantly, continuously told me that there is nothing special about me. Whilst he was on one side encouraging me to do stuff, on the other hand, he was telling me how crap I was and how, how just average person I was and how incapable of doing anything. So that's why I set to myself um, a goal to, to make my father proud of me because um, he was admired by many people, especially that he was a shooting champion, European champion, and he came in, uh, he was admired by tens of thousands of people. And um, he made me believe that in fact, there was nothing different about me. I grew up like all my other mates back in Romania. I graduated a regular school and I was just very nicely blending in. Not the smartest, not the stupidest, not the best uh, 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 or the fastest learner, not the slowest, just an average person. And I did come to the conclusion that I have to get a job like everybody else and do my best and, uh, and work really hard. Uh, eventually, I made it to London. I came to London back in 1999 to do an MBA. And then I managed to get a job in, uh, in investment banking. And finally, I was living the dream. I was living the dream of waking up early in the morning, going to job, making loads of money for me, and coming back home super tired. And after a few years of living the dream, I realized that I was just a robot. I was just a slave of my own life. I was just a slave of the system. I was doing what I was told to do, but where was I? I was just caught in the rat race. I was caught in the daily life like many other people, doing the same as everybody else going to work, work, working hard, making a nice living, paying for my house, and yes, being able to go on holidays, uh, being able to go for a party here and there, uh, meeting with my friends here and there. But that was not really life, even though, yes, I could do a lot of things. You know why? Because I was feeling stressed, I was feeling tired, and eventually I was like, well, couldn't do much, really, if you think about it, because there was no time. So even though I was following my mom's advice, which was work hard because rewards will come, rewards weren't coming as I wanted them to come. Until one day when I was forced to quit and I set up my own consulting company. And guess what? I built my team I raised $150 million for my clients and I was a raising star. Yes, I was bridging, as I call it, between London and Romania. I was raising finance for Romanian companies. I was developing projects in Romania for English uh, clients and I was living the dream. My office was in my bag. I could live anywhere I wanted. I could travel, I could visit the world. I could spend a month in Amazonia, another month in Australia, another month in, uh, in other countries in, in Asia, a month in Canada, a month in the US. I could do whatever I wanted. 
I had the possibility to experience the gadgets that I wanted, private jets, private helicopter, um, seeing Sydney from above, uh, seeing um, uh, safaris from above, having whatever cars, and yes, living the dream until 2008. When the crisis really hit me, because all the projects were, that we were working on depending on bank finance. And banks stopped lending for those projects and within three months, I see myself in bankruptcy. I see myself in having to downsize my company, uh, having to let go my employees, which were a family for me or like a family. And um, I see myself with over $1 million debt, which I couldn't pay back. I see myself being forced to going back to Romania and asking, begging my dad to give me food. Remember, my dad was the person that I wanted to impress the most. And now I feel myself in the situation where I ask him to feed me, to help me, because his daughter that once wanted to become someone and impress him was not able to support herself, not even to feed herself. I rented my flat in London out, of course, uh, because I couldn't afford it, and I had to move back to Romania. The house which I bought in Romania was repossessed. You don't want to know how it feels to go to the auction when your own house is being sold for less than one third of the price you paid for. Life is tough, but that's when you look for solutions. And my rescue was participating in a big event. And from one big event to another big event, I realized that what I knew was only 5% of what I had, what I needed to know to be successful in business and in life in today's world. 95% of what I needed to know was unknown to me. The first event I went to, I realized how much I didn't know and then I started to learn. And then I uh, invested even more. I invested in mentors, I invested in programs, Tony Robbins was one of my, uh, my mentors. I went to see uh, Mark Victor Hansen in Las Vegas. I went to Frank Kern, which is the best in online marketing. I paid him $15,000 for two days bootcamp to learn about sales funnels and online marketing. By the way, I also paid um, Tony Robbins uh, $10,004 uh, for his business mastery program. I invested in um, ClickFunnels and I had the privilege of learning from the best in the world. Um, yeah, in the picture is the founder of, uh, of ClickFunnels, uh, Russell Brunson, in case you don't know. I also invested in um, uh, Bill Walsh and then a few years later, I started to do business with them. And that is a lunch preparing an event with Bill Walsh. And that is a dinner with Robert Kiyosaki and that's just before the Wells Masters where both Robert Kiyosaki and myself were going to speak at the same event. Yes, I did manage to bring Bill Walsh and Robert Kiyosaki and many others in Romania and offer amazing experiences to, to Romanian people. I was voted in top 100 women in tech um, in Silicon Valley. Uh, with the platform which I created for small businesses which is called Tullier's. And now my business clients, um, because I grow businesses, I work with entrepreneurs uh, who, want, who are determined to achieve more in life. Uh, they tell me that I have the black belt in business and no matter what they come up with as questions to me, I have a better question for them that uh, helps them figure out the answer or I have the right strategy or the right tactic for them to leverage what they've got and make maximum impact and maximum sales and profit from their business. But I have to tell you that this belt came after having get, gotten another belt. And that is on failure, 
or better put, like um, Edison discovered 10,000 ways that don't work. I also discovered 10,000 ways of not working or, or things that don't bring results in business because I learned from my own trial and error from my own mistakes. Now, I feel privileged that we've organized over 200 events and, and empowered and impacted more than 50,000 people. We've got more than uh, 2,000 clients on six continents. And yes, I became an Amazon bestseller. My book is called now Business Unlimited and is a collection of seven volumes on marketing and sales and really achieving more from what you've got as a business. I've got six properties in uh, London and in Romania as well. I've got the award uh, for coming up with the most innovative business model because what I do now for businesses is providing consulting and online marketing services but with a twist in a different way that makes the biggest impact and doesn't cost them an arm and a leg. Yes, now I get invited to speak at prestigious events. Um, I get featured a lot in the media. I'm also in the advisory board for Cast Business School, which is the school where I got my MBA uh, back in uh, 1999. And um, I also speak um, at, on entrepreneurship and on how to, to set up proper businesses that get to results fast at different schools, prestigious schools in London. Uh, we became... Tony Robbins exclusive partners in Romania and I am the only woman speaker on stage at the Wells Masters Tour. I'm also the only Romanian speaker at the Wells Masters Tour. So I got to get the money and I got to get the recognition, the power, the, the significance, feeling important, feeling respected by loads, loads, loads of people. I got at the moment 27,000 likes on my Facebook page. We've got about 100,000 people that we communicate on a monthly basis with. And I should feel happy, fulfilled, proud. But I lost my relationship because I focused very, very much on my business. I neglected my partner. There are many years when I wasn't bringing in any money. He got upset by me putting so much effort into something that wasn't bringing anything to the family other than frustration and, and stress. And um, in January 2019, we separated. And it's not only my relationship that I lost. I realized that I lost my identity. I really didn't know what I was, who I was, what I was doing on this planet. So 2019 for me was the year with the biggest transformation ever. It was the year that brought me the most difficult period in my life, the biggest uh, suffering, losing my partner after 12 years. But that pushed me to find out who I was. That pushed me to go even more for courses, for programs, for working with uh, mentors and therapists and coaches, psychologists. And this is how I discovered my real me. So question for you is, what's your cost? What's your cost for focusing on the wrong things, for doing the wrong things, for not doing the right things, for um, putting your energy and effort into something that doesn't give you what you want. Is it costing you the relationship? Is it costing you money? Is it costing your health? Is it costing your mental health? Is it costing you not getting what you want in life and not being happy? What I realized is most people look for happiness that somebody else brings to them. They want love, they want relationships because that's how they believe they're happy. Other people look for houses, for big material things, for cars, clothes, bags, whatever, to make them feel good, to make them happy. But in reality, what I understood is all about discovering yourself and understanding who you really are because that's when the, ha the magic happens. That's when you really become happy. 
from understanding who you are, being very clear on what you want and not the goal that the society or the parent or whoever imposes on you and becoming the person that gets what you want. To me, that's the biggest lesson in life. And who you are is the essence for your happiness. I believe that that's the only way that you can truly be happy and live a meaningful and purposeful life. If you look at this picture, that was taken in the summer 2019 at 8 o'clock, well actually 7 o'clock in the morning on the beach because that's when I celebrated my birthday party. I started my birthday party in Bucharest, which is the capital of Romania, at 9 o'clock in the evening and I finished at 8 o'clock on the beach the next morning. That's my party this year. I've had an amazing year, um, oh, sorry, amazing summer. And ever since, I've been doing truly amazing things. Uh, uh, this winter, I went skiing seven times because I can and because I enjoy it and because I found my peace, my inner peace. I found equi equilibrium in my life. So from my point of view, what I finally understood is life is not about working, it's about living and being happy, being truly happy. And if you ask, if you ask me who I am today, from considering myself, having considered myself an entrepreneur, a speaker, a trainer, um, someone who achieves a lot, what I found today is that I am a woman. I'm a businesswoman, indeed. So the question for you is, who are you? And this is the reason why I started a movement called Be You, Be Free. Understand who you are, be clear on what you want, and become the person that obtains what you want. This is what I encourage you to do. It is This movement, Be You, Be Free, is about wealth, it's about love, and more importantly, is about being happy, being happy from within yourself because you deserve it and you can. And if you want to talk to me, if you want to work with me, I do speaking, I do training. I, we have loads of digital products, uh, mentorship for businesses. We do consulting to discover the potential, the full potential of your business to leverage at maximum what you've got. We have an amazing team that does marketing services, online marketing for you. And I'm very, very happy to connect with you on social media. Come and join my uh, Facebook page, LinkedIn, watch my YouTube videos, join my movement, Be You Be Free, and have an amazing day and amazing life.